People are always saying that they want to help people with ADHD feel comfortable in their own skin. The idea of feeling less awkward is easier said than done. For many adults with ADHD, being social feels like a giant spotlight is on us and there's a booming voice in our head that narrates our every mistake. If we didn't have that voice and we could feel comfortable in our own skin, that would be great. And often I find my clients are really hard on themselves and unforgiving. And here's the truth, everyone has awkward moments, but for those of us who have been like kind of chronically awkward, we feel really sure we're the only person who's ever been awkward in the world. And our past is riddled with anxiety, feeling awkward and knowing that you're kind of not as adept in the moment and you feel socially awkward is really hard. So how can we ever become comfortable in our own skin? Let's talk about it. Hi friends, I'm Caroline McGuire and I am here to talk about all things ADHD and friendship. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel and click all the things. These are things I've come up with on how I have become more comfortable in my own skin. And I will tell you this, I have done a lot of therapy around this and I even wore this dress because I'm more comfortable. I have videos both here and on Jessica McCabe's How to ADHD channel about doing a pregame and doing certain things to sort of gear myself up to be social and that have worked really well with my clients and thousands of people. But I really think that there are ways we can feel better and more comfortable in our own skin. One, find ways to feel safe. Being comfortable with yourself always happens faster when you feel psychologically safe. Any risks you take in life are easier when you have an emotional safety net around you. Trusted friend and loved ones who appreciate and respect you. Yes, I have totally had times where I call someone I'm close to. I've even texted cousins and stuff and been like, help me put myself in a place of emotional safety. I also sometimes have met with a therapist or a life coach before doing something that's hard. Those people who accept and love us can act as armor. And when we are trying something new, the opposite can also be true. So I think it's really important to create that psychological safety. When you don't feel psychologically safe, your mind and your body are in high alert alert, it's really hard to try new things, to reframe missteps, and even to be present in the moment. And I think this is particularly challenging in social settings where your feeling of awkwardness and being seen and interpreted and read by people is going to be on high alert because of our past and where things have been hard. Once you trust yourself more, you'll find it easier to branch out into social activities and taste risks. So I think psychological safety is really important. Two, pay attention to the story in your mind and what you're telling yourself. Many people have a story or a narrative in our minds and they say things that are really harsh, like you are too much, you're a bad friend, you're not social, and kind of replay things and create our own narrative that, I'll be honest with you, it doesn't always have any truth to it. And this makes it, again, really hard to feel comfortable. When it comes to learning how to make friends or to get out there or to be comfortable in your own skin, you have to take stock of those stories because changing that story to move forward can really help you because otherwise you have this internal narrator constantly saying negative things. Your character is not those stories. And I am here to tell you, they are mostly not true. They are inventions we create and I am right there with you. Three, this is paired with the story really well. Listen to yourself talk. Along with that story, there's that inner narrator in your head with negative self-talk bombarding you at times. How would you feel comfortable in your own skin with that horrible internal soundtrack? Listen to your self-critical self-talk and try to reframe those messages because I think that inner narration really matters in terms of how we approach things and how we feel good about ourselves. Four, reframe missteps. Everybody has social faux pas. Everybody. You can even see them in television shows, at the podium, people who are making mistakes in public, 
People who are typical makes mistakes too. Reframing your missteps is really important. When you make mistakes or say things you wish you could take back, that's the time your inner critic comes out so loudly. Instead of making a misstep a fact or a certainty, put them in context. Something happened, it doesn't define you. And also, in a given evening, afternoon, time that you spend with a potential friend or even a good friend, you are going to say a bunch of things and have a bunch of social wins. Narrate those wins. That will help to shrink the missteps in your mind and blow up the things that went well. So a trick is when you start having this narration of your missteps after a social event, please, please, please start saying aloud all the things that went well. And by the way, things that went well could be you showed up, you said something funny to start. They can be small things or big things. Five, embrace your strengths. To feel comfortable in your body and experience self-acceptance, there has to be self-compassion as well as self-love. I believe firmly that people with ADHD should do something every day that relates to your strength. We have super strong strengths and they make you feel better about you. So if you are trying to become more comfortable in your own skin, spend time doing things you love, you're passionate about, and you're good at. Feeling comfortable in your own skin is a journey and it's something that I feel like journalists and television and booksellers and people say all the time that might not be as easy as it sounds. But I do wish this for everyone and I really do think that as you're on the journey, this can be possible. I also think there are days when you're more comfortable in your own skin and less comfortable in your own skin. I hope these tips helped. Please let me know how it goes in the comments. And for those who stayed on to the end, thank you and bye friends. Oh,